know it's going to go up like the old 16 used to go? I don't know about that, sir. I'm not perfect. Okay, you want, you're trying to get the Stelsa. I'm trying to get the um, Stelsa right up there, down there, before you get to... Um, up by Morris Road? Before you get to Morris Road. There's no bus going to take you that way. You got to go take Cross Street to James Road. And catch the 24 and it goes all the way to the road. And it turns into Stealth after you oh, get by the BS. Is it? You need to yeah, it's only two hours over there. See that bus right there? Uh -huh. James Road. Again with his friend. Uh -huh. Get the 24. Get the 24. That will take you all the way up James Road to Stealth. What time is it? That's the only bus um, that will go up to Stealth. So what are you talking about? What time is that here? I can't put that battery with that low. Yes, All right, man, y'all take it easy. Let me get you one more scripture real quick. One, okay, go ahead. Let me get one for you. Because I'll see y'all here next time you come and we'll, we'll be able to talk. All right, look, look. Matthew 15 and 24. You find it. It said, this is red letters, right? You said everybody chosen, right? Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who? He said, that's the Ooh, Lord that himself, was, Yahweh Shah. That was Jesus. That's right. Exactly. Was right. Jesus was Jesus. He said he only came for Israel. Right. The lost sheep of the Right. Because that was his mission. Right. So what we got? When he was a prophet, he was a prophet. But so when did that change? So he ain't come okay. for you, right? When did that, that change? Was his, that was his mission. Israel. That didn't change, man. It's still the same. But you, okay. but you, but you but did he say come from the Hamites? But that was his mission. He say that. But that was his mission. See, so, right, yeah. right. so when he come back, is he gonna come back for the lost sheep? That's yeah. it. That's oh, really? It. Well, actually, okay, actually, he's not coming back because the sheep ain't lost. Then they gonna okay. know they're Israelites. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Right. They're lost. They're not right. gonna know they're lost. So he's only, only okay. coming. Do you know when? No soon. man knows. Soon. Soon. We know nobody soon. Knows. Ah. We know soon. No, nobody yeah. knows. We know no. They don't know. You don't know a date and time, but they do know when. We know when. that you're going to see the signs at the times. Okay, you see? Do you see them? We see the signs. Do you see them now? Right now. What's yeah. the sign? Let's teach you. What's the sign? That's right here. Let's teach you. When you have revelations, do you know? Oh, we all do revelations. No, where, where you Revelation at? Revelation 11. No, it says where you at? Our, I said where you can, at? Can I answer? Answer. Revelation 11 says we're going to stand upon our feet and we're going to prophesy. No, okay, no. I'm talking about that. where you at in the time for him coming back? I just told you. Just nah. told you. He said nah. we're gonna stand up. Hey, the Lord gonna send his prophets out before anything gets destroyed. Before oh, nah. all the ancient kingdoms got destroyed. Uh, he he sent okay. Jeremiah out to all y'all. You quote the scriptures. I'm talking about that, uh, where are that you they at? Said the apostles the apostles last. Last. Because where are we at? There's certain signs the that was on. given. The 144,000. There's certain signs that were given to tell you how close you are. With an RFID chip. The chip. RFID chip is a sign. What about those nuclear missiles? It's the first time in the history of mankind where they got thermonuclear missiles. Right. They been had them. But yeah, yeah in, the, in the past out. century. Right, you know, right. I lived in Denver, right. and they got missiles yeah. silos inside. But Denver's the right. HQ. That's that's but, the real capital. But what I'm saying, they've been there 25 right. years ago. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. Not a thousand years ago. Not a thousand years ago. 25 years ago. Not 500 years ago. I don't know when they have them. So don't. But I know that they're there. They're not going to tell you. But that's where the lake of fire is. The lake of fire is when America's getting destroyed by all those missiles. That's right. And all two thirds of Israel are going to be destroyed. 200,000 of them. You know, the fire is supposed to start in Yemen. Uh, Yemen. No, Yemen. no, no, no. Who you been listening no, to? No, they got no, you all no, messed no, up. We, no, now no, we got to fix it. The Great River it. Euphrates right. don't go through Yemen, man. What? The Great River Euphrates don't go through Yemen. Don't go, yeah. They don't go through right. Yemen. Yemen. I'm trying to tell you something, okay. man. It's in the scriptures. Okay. Okay. Well, it's Babylon well, the Great. It out, man. Check it out. The uh, government just released where, videos of UFOs, right? That's, that's another sign. Look. What, who, right. And where's Babylon the Great? Good, talk, good talking to you. Who's I Babylon? Go. The Great Take Babylon. Who's the Great Whore? Take it easy. You gotta work to the truth, man, because the Lord's I'll see you man. next time. He but like I said, man. He making, that, he making that good money, no. boy. He get comfortable. That money, that's, said, nah, that's what that it money. is. I get comfortable. It's more fun. It goes. I'm, I'm trying to find my way out. All right. <laughs> well, y'all trying to find y'all way in. I got peace up This is uh, Luke 21. It don't make sense. It, it made it. Don't yeah. make sense. What's that scripture? Talk with no sense. Right, right. It's Luke Irksome. Irksome. It's Irksome. Let me get that. That's it. I'll go ahead. This is Luke 21. Luke 21 and 39. And he spoke to them a parable. Behold, the fig tree and all the trees. It's a parable, a parable is a dark saying that it's not meant for everybody to understand. Okay. And everybody definitely don't understand it. When they now shoot forth, ye see and know of yourselves that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Wars, right. rumors of wars, false prophets, RFID chip, diseases, pestilence. 
famine. Yep. All, all you got left versus right now. The Democrats versus Republicans. Oh, everybody hate air each other's necks right now, bro. So something to happen yeah, from that. Right. Scripture says sedition amongst men. Yep. <laughs> you got more on? Uh, I got one. Ecclesiasticus 27. See that great storm coming. Yeah. We out here warning the people. Whether people want to hear it or not, who gives a damn? I see it's about to rain. I'm going to get an umbrella. Yep. I'm going to get out the way. I'm going to get out the way. You Take know, cover. You smell, you smell a house burning down. You smell that smoke. You want to get out the house. You know, That's what we're doing. Right, we're going to finish watching this, this game. Oh, right, right, right. That's right. What they, <laughs> Let me go check a nap. That fire is slow down. It ain't going to burn. It ain't going to get to the second floor in a while. Let me go back to sleep. And that's literally what spiritually what the people are doing. Back to, right back to sleep while the house is burning down. And that's one of them parables. Right. Ecclesiasticus 27 <laughs> and 13. The discourse of fools is irksome. <laughs> and their sport is the wantonness of sin. Right, because... That, that irks us, bro. You hear the discourse of a fool talking, talking on that man in his bed, that irks you. You know what I mean? It's only coming for his people. Yeah, that scripture clearly said the Lord only came for the Israelites. Right. Over it. Look, when over. I used to pick up my kids from school, I didn't pick up everybody's kids. I picked up my kids. You gonna take your ass to jail, you're gonna take your ass to jail, you gonna pick up some kids from school. Oh, you're gonna get some other kids. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. That don't even make no sense. That's crazy, man. I'll get another scripture to prove the Lord only came for Israel. Right, House burning down, your kids inside, you only gonna go and get your kids. <laughs> Literally. All right, actually, you let know, me get that Matthew 25. You might, you might grab another Jake, child, to get him out. You might, <laughs> you might. But you're going to get your kids, man. That's your main concern is to save your family, your house, man. I, and that's what we're doing. We're trying to save our house, the children of Israel. I got that. Uh, Matthew 25 and 31. When the Son of Man, who is the one you call Jesus, his real name is Yahweh Shai, okay? When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, that's talking about them chariots. Like I said, that proves who the Israelites right up. Who came up with the song Swing Low Sweet Cherry? That was the Israelites. They were no Hamite coming up. Ham would be singing about the goddamn uh Taurus and intestine degree prophecies. Yeah, <laughs> break, getting prophecies for animal intestines. Right. They they would sing a song about Horus or Isis. Jake was singing songs about the scriptures, bro. That's right. You know slaves. what I mean? Slaves. They was slaves trained were coming up with these songs. Exactly. Oh, God. Uh, water. They knew they was like back then too. They beat it out of. Oh, talking about going across the River Jordan. Literally beat it out of. River Jordan. That's where the Lord's baptized with the River Jordan. And spiritually, we the River Jordan. Oh, and not us, but His Word. We the teaching of His Word. That's the rivers of living water. Because we out here baptizing people. Yep. Oh my fault, I'm a bad dude, my friggin' <laughs> They split the water, they split the water joint like Oh yeah, they yeah, the Lord split the Red Sea, and then he split the joint the river. Man, that's that's it, man. That's weed, bro. Right. Deuteronomy 32 and 9. For the Lord's portion is his people. His people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. That's simple, man. You can't get it, man. That's plain. <laughs> It, don't, it ain't all hard to understand. He says, Israel's my chosen, and the other heathen nations are spit. The Bible literally calls them nothing and spit. But he's thinking, he agrees, he said, Israel's chosen, but everybody's here. But he's a That's like saying, I, I choose you. But everybody's gonna be mine. That don't make no sense. And, he, you, you and he believes in the Bible. He believes on his Jesus. Oh, he confessed. He oh, the, just he don't, believe, don't believe in the Bible. Exactly. You don't believe it. Don't believe the Bible. Don't believe it. It's two thirds that don't believe the Bible. They believe in what? The princess of men. Hey, look, I got one. Let me finish this up. Uh, when the Son of Man shall come in all his glory and all the angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, even as a shepherd divided the sheep from the goats. Look, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on his left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, 
inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Oh, did we say we chosen for the world created? That's right. He said that's not true. But that's why he said he's going to put the sheep, what? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. He's going to put the sheep on his right hand. The right hand represents righteousness. The left hand represents the devil. That's why you got something called the left-handed path. The left-handed path, that's the path of be, being a devil worshiper. That's what the devil worshippers call that shit. They even call it the left-handed path. What's that the, bitch that devil made song to you about? What was that? Beyonce? Beyonce. Oh, yeah. Oh, that evil bitch. Sasha Fierce? I'm surprised most I ain't killed her yet. Oh, it's coming. But you know, he used her to oh, put coming. he used her to put these bitches to sleep. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. The Lord the Lord don't want everybody waking up to this truth. The Lord said that he gave even homosexuals up to a reprobate mind. You know? So the Lord is the one that puts you to sleep, man. He's the one that wakes you up and he's the one that puts you to sleep. He's the one that kills you. He's the one that makes you alive. Here we go. This is Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance. And they're a small day. Nothing, man. Nothing. Heathens. Nothing. <laughs> what the fuck is a heathen? Nothing. A heathen is equals nothing. The heathens ain't going to be planting the seeds, planting the, planting the heavens, man. They be busy trying to fuck the goats. You're they're like, God right. damn, man. Literally. Literally. Sticking fucking mice up their ass for sexual pleasures and shit. Smoking scorpions. Jake doing the same shit. Oh, uh, Jake, you know? he followed the heathen. Right. He the ambassador of the. Your boy says he's a ham mice. Patrick Swayze. Who you know claiming repping ham? Oh, Jake, two thirds. You claiming ham? Two thirds. Wow. Ham. Ham. I would not want nothing to do with, with good. Bro, I'm claiming Israel, Jacob. It says, Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing, and leaven is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. Wow. In the negative. <laughs> and it knows that too, it said that in the negative. there's not enough animals to sacrifice for all they sin. No. Man, these heathens are nothing, man. <laughs> right. Rock 33 and 10. It says, All men are from the ground, and Adam was created of earth. It says, As much, wit, as much knowledge the Lord hath divided them and made their ways of earth. Some of them he hath blessed and exalted, and some of them hath he sanctified and set near unto himself. But some of them hath he cursed and brought low and turned out their places. As the clay is in the potter's hand, to fashion as his pleasure. So man is in the hand of him that made him, and to render to him as like it from best. That's a good scripture right there. Read that, and read that again. 33. 33. The, the, the Lord separated us from the heathen. That's clear as that. We just read that. It's a Matthew. You can't be like, oh, that's the Old Testament. No, that, that's in the New Testament. Why they got 144,000? Why? How come it's gonna be the new Jerusalem? How come it ain't the new Ham? <laughs> or the new Esau? Or the new, the new Babylon? Babylon needs to be there. You go. There, there is go. a new Babylon. Is this? They got the shit. They got the shit. Yeah, exactly. Mystery Babylon. Like you said, they don't believe in the Bible. They can talk all that shit all they want, man. Exactly. That shit, that's about. that bullshit. I love you. You can't tell me my faith. I'm not a believer or not. You can't tell me my mind. He probably apologized. Yeah, we can tell him. He apologized to us. He was afraid he was losing a job or something. Right, his ass could His wife's like, you know, you know how the spirit works, man. Yep. The spirit, you can't even yeah, The spirit is bad. Man. It could be even worse now. Right, right. You know, like she's in trouble. Man. He might run somebody over driving the Coda bus. There's some hard times you're catching now that we ain't seen. You, know, you can't really speak on us. He come, he he come up in the spirit of um, uh, contention. He sure did. You know, they always try to, to control the, the, the argument. <laughs> try to talk over us. And don't know nothing. <laughs> don't know nothing. 
Let me get that script. I got another one. Oh, what you got? This is on Amos 3 and I'm going to start at 1. That's why all the scripts will come out when you get mad. So it come up to you. Amos 3 and 1. Here's this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Oh, children of Israel. Here we go again. It didn't say children of Ham either. Elam. Esau. Oh, he de definitely ain't dealing with no Elam. You know what I mean? A bunch of weirdos. O children of Israel. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right, so that's clear. So the Bible said that the Lord's chosen people are the children of Israel. Okay, so we're going to believe the Bible. We don't, we're don't. we not going to believe what you say. Yeah, yeah we believe in the Bible. Y'all think that, oh, that's crazy, that's crazy. You got to see these crazy people outside teaching the Bible on the street. You know what about what we're going to say that shit for? Yeah, yeah. Y'all gonna call upon Jesus, y'all gonna call upon Muhammad, y'all gonna call upon whoever the fuck y'all believe in, but they ain't gonna answer. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna see who's the most high. That's right. Yeah, we know what we're talking about. Yeah, if the Bible's wrong, then can somebody give me an answer what's right? <laughs> Crickets. Look at y'all. Hey, they, they're just waiting to get the hell out of here, get away from us. They're like, we gotta get out of here. Uh oh, there it is. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We know we talk about you're not supposed to argue with nobody about God. You can say it right to Why haven't you said it was wrong, though? You talk about it. You don't argue about it. What are we trying to talk about? We try to talk about it. Paul said, the scripture says, Paul disputed with the Jews daily. Where's the word dispute mean? Oh, the Lord one day, he turned over tables and hit people with a switch. The Lord flooded the whole earth. You worry about cuss words. They killed everybody. The it's damn a cuss word. It's bastard a cuss word. All that's in the Bible. The word piss is in the Bible. Yeah, piss is in the Bible. The what word whore is in there too. Whore. Uh, what else? Bitch. <laughs> nah, but they use bad words all day, but we say it all. We're, we're right. evil. It's a shame to speak of them, the things they ain't doing secret. It's a shame. People are hypocrites because they put the Bible down and then you can cuss. You can hold the Bible. But they put your it nasty like, skeletons in your closet. Like the Lord can't hear you. You know what I'm saying? When you don't have the Bible around you. You know what I'm saying? Eating pork, eating swine's flesh. Y'all talking about cuss words. Y'all eating actual swine's flesh. Putting that in your body. And you worried about a cuss word. You know what I mean? They speaking against the prophets and the Lord. That's, that's pretty much a cuss word. Pretty much. It's pretty authentic. Exactly. He 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 I got this scripture real quick. I got it too. What you got? I just want to get that up. Thessalonians 2 and 1. For yourselves, brethren, know our entrance in unto you, that it was not in vain. But even after that we had suffered before and were shamefully entreated, as she not know, at Philippi, we were bold in our power to speak unto you the gospel of the Most High with much contention. With much contention. We out here contending, bro. Yo, you don't know these scriptures. Y'all don't know no scriptures. y'all collectively can't come together and come against this truth. No, no, narrow scripture. We know <laughs> the Lord gave us the truth, so y'all supposed to listen to us. Come together, y'all. Yeah, it's like it's like three of us compared to like three people. Out there. <laughs> and nobody answered the damn thing. It's oh, all right. Like, like, they all women anyway. The, the, the Esau's, uh, Esau's representative. Yeah. Oh, Jezebel you know, came these, out, boy. When these nations right now they get they're getting ready for World War Three. These nations are sending each ambassador to each nation. You know, whatever yeah, yeah. agreements they're trying to come that's to. That's what the black woman's role is. She's an ambassador for these devils. For the serpent. You know? She loves Esau. Ambassador. You ambassadors going to be put to death. <laughs> I got a scripture for y'all. You know, uh, John Bolton. Like he's an example. Second Timothy 2 and, uh, actually I got the wrong damn scripture. Uh -oh. 15. <laughs> that's first Timothy. Oh, shit. I done failed. I got an epic failure. What is that first Timothy? Two and uh, fifth, uh, which one is that? First Timothy two and 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man. That's Paul speaking. That's the New Testament. That's Timothy. That's Timothy, son. Timothy, boy. Touch your mouth, bro. Yeah, walk down the street. Go take a shower. Go take a shower. 
You come wash your clothes. You look like you got doo doo on your pants. You're gonna judge me. You guys are Christians and you're gonna judge. The Bible states judge not this. You judge it up. You judge it up. You judge it up. You all think you guys know the Bible? Oh, devil, get behind me because guess what? You all are the sinner. You most definitely don't know the Bible. You just said Paul was in the Old Testament. You're going to judge me? Paul's in the Old Testament? You're going to judge me? Are you on PC? Yes, we're going to judge you. Are you guys going to yes. judge me? Yes, sir. Let me get Please your Bible and find where it says, Judge oh, not, oh. lest ye be judged. I got one. What you got? You got one? I got because one. I can guarantee you, if you can't find it, you're reading the wrong uh, Bible. First, uh, first, on, hold on, hold on, I got a scripture. You're reading the wrong Bible. First Corinthians it. 2 and 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things. No, the Bible says, let's she be judged. That's the new The Bible says, let's she be judged. So you can be judged Break too. Break that down. Oh, hold on, actually, oh, be no. judged of the same <laughs> thing. In other words, wisdom of Solomon all 1 three. and 1. I just read the Bible. Love righteousness. Ma'am, thank you. Thank Love you, righteousness. Thank you, you my brother. Thank you, 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 my Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. What a spirit cut him, boy. What the fuck you got? You idiot. But since I'm a judge, you retard. Let me read this again. First Corinthians 2 and 15. He that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. That means we can judge them, but they can't judge us. Hey, get up. Uh, I'm already First Corinthians 6. First Corinthians uh, 6. You gotta get them quick. The demons getting riled up. First Corinthians 6 and 2. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Know you not that we shall judge angels? We're gonna judge angels. Like, so we worried about a, uh, that guy. Like, who are you? Who are you? That's what I want to know. But we had, they, not everybody came again. They, they was all kind of cursed, all kind of left, right, everywhere. The most high fucking hit them with the, with the ugly stick. What's that old thing? <laughs> the ugly tree hit every stick on the way down. That was some funny shit. I told you, when the demons riled up, they, 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 they may not express it every day, but when yeah. the demons riled them up, then they, they come up, man. All the logic and everything. Right? People you see every day when you come out here. They express their... What is, well, I don't know what set them off. I don't know. Yeah, it's, I don't know. The, spirit, the spirit of the Lord took them off. Thank God, The word of the Most High is quick and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword. Dividing even the asunder of soul and spirit. All right, this is a couple letters. All right, right yeah. You made it so it's two points. You made it so it's twice. It's at this point. Oh, test me. Oh, test me. He's being called a word. And then he said... I come out and try to look at you like, you remember you were about to read that scripture? Like, let me hear it, let me hear it. Then he got, he, he got mad, you can tell he got mad, because he knew he, knew he got fucked up. He got, he got uh, uh, turned down. This is another piece of, this is, this is the Lord's mouth right here. This is John 7 and 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Right. So, I mean, we make fun of the guys and stuff, but hey, it's because, uh, Hey, they came with, hey, what does the scripture say? Uh, you gotta get that scripture. The Matthew 12, ain't it? Is that Matthew 12? You shall be the justified by the They said, they said this, but what? They condemn themselves. Come on, these motherfuckers scared me, man. I ain't trying to get this. They're afraid he got rabies. <laughs> he, got, he got everything. Salmonella, rabies. Uh, what's this here? Tuberculosis? It looked like the poster child for tuberculosis. Right, right. Then you go Matthew 12 and I'm starting 34. Whole generation of vipers. Vipers is a poisonous snake. And the Lord is referring to some Oh, but we ain't supposed snakes. to argue with people. Right. But the Lord calling people snakes. Whole generation of vipers. How can ye, being evil. And they started an argument with us. Right, right. Speak. <laughs> that motherfuckers need slap. Right. We just sitting here reading the scripture. 
be like Nehemiah come out and start whooping everybody. The Lord made a switch. They, they can't do it. You know, a lot of them don't know that's in the Bible. They never even read the Bible a day in their life. Right. Old generation of Bibles, how can you, ye being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. A good man, out of the good treasures of the heart, bringeth forth good things. And an evil man, out of the evil treasures, bringeth forth evil things. Yes. What I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. But what they just said, they got to make an account of that. They get mustered up all the courage they ever had in life just to come and try to condemn us. Yeah. Make a courage to shoot. 37. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. So they can't, what did they say that we are doing? They said that we are not of God or something. I can't, I gotta get I'm out, I'm gonna watch this one. Here telling the truth, I'm gonna have to go watch this one. Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? You know? Oh, they, oh look, they still right there, old man. Over. That's good. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we will see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the Lord. It promised. What? Man, he just tried to. He won't even make no sense. I told my nigga, no more time. Well, no win, no more time. He was saying something like that. Yeah, he a ham mic, though, so. What you expect? Someone that calls himself a ham mic. That's what the white man told people. That, that was their justification for slavery, which they said uh, uh, so called black people are Canaanites. Because y'all was cursing. That's why y'all in slavery. Y'all some dumbasses, man. So Psalms 122, uh, one, uh, I'm going to start at 5. It says, for there, I'm talking about Jerusalem. It says, for there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. So, if this throne, what are you doing? Judge, you know what I'm saying? You put the judgment, the righteous judgment. It says, thrones, uh, plural, not just the most high. You got uh, uh, men, the house of David. Uh, we get it? Uh, Revelation 2 and uh Right. I we finish on this one. We got another one. Revel I read this Revelation 2 and 26. He that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. They're not keeping his works. Here does everybody come against us, but where's your works at, bro? What, what have you been doing? Yeah, cricket. Like I said, uh, what's that scripture? Uh, a rod for the fool's back? It's like, it's like a saying. I forgot how to say it goes. It's like, if we don't do something about what you look like, if something bad happens to somebody, you don't do nothing to help it, you're just as bad as you're just as good. It's an accomplice, yeah. Right. There's right. actually right. even laws in this right. kingdom right. for that. Right. Uh, Ezekiel yeah. goes to it, turn the man from unrighteousness to right. He speaks on that. Right. That's why I'm asking, like, if, if the Bible is that victory that you plan, if the Bible's wrong, give us the right answer. Everybody's it's not. Trump, Trump is the key. They're they going to really have a problem with this one, though. So he to overcome it and keep my works unto the end to him while I give power over the nations, which means Israel is going to rule over the nations. That's in the New Testament. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter, they shall be broken to shivers, even as...